30-day challenge. I'm Carly and I'm so excited to have you here on week two. I cannot believe that you have put in the time, the effort to be here, but I am really grateful because I know that by showing up for yourself, you're going to create some really amazing habits that actually start changing your life for the positive. So last week was all about unplugging. This week is about mindset. And I want to dispel the myth that mindset is simply positive thinking. While that is an element, of course, mindset is about understanding that we have infinite power to actually control our ways of being, okay? Now, most of our life is lived subconsciously, right? So we hop up in the morning, we already start thinking about how the day is going to go and usually the day goes how we think it's going to go, right? So if we're always going the same way, then there's really no error for movement or change. And that might be fine if you are winning at life in every aspect and you're super excited and, and you know, well on the way to enlightenment. but. I would say that that's not why you're here. You're here because you want to create some new positive changes. So mindset is a big part of that. Now, mindset is not just about going, okay, um, I'm going to think happy thoughts all the time because there's so much automatic thinking that goes on that we can't often until we're aware know that we have control of that. Um, I know for me, there was a point where things were so low and so dark in my life that I remember glimpsing outside my window and seeing a palm tree and in that moment saying, I want to remember this because I want to look out here one day and recognize how far I've come from this really intense part of my life. And by doing that, by, by recognizing that, that glimpse of light in that darkness and holding on to that and following all those tiny glimpses over a period of time, I can now look out that window, have a look at that tree and give thanks and be hugely grateful for how far I've come from that moment. And all it takes is tiny baby steps of intention. With that being said, Today we are going to start a meditation practice. Now if you meditate already, good on you. I hope you already feel the benefits. If you half meditate, that's also okay. If you've never meditated and you're not sure about it, this is definitely an in. Um, meditation is not about obtaining like this amazing, you know, sense of enlightenment and being perfect. Meditation is about giving a space for you to clear the thought patterns and just be in the stillness for as long as you can hold it. And there's a saying that says, you know, if you want to give up um, after meditating for a short amount of time, that's even more reason why you should sit longer. And it's so true. Once again, it's a practice. It's something that takes time and we just start in little increments. So starting with guided meditation is a great way because all you have to do is sit there and listen. And I'm gonna guide you through a meditation today where we're just gonna feel our body in space and check in with the different areas and see what's going on there. So I'll play some music and all you need to do is get comfortable. So sit on a chair, sit cross-legged, whatever you do, just make sure that your back is supported so that you can have the energy running through you. So get comfortable and we're going to start in a couple of seconds. We begin this body scan meditation with our eyes closed. Settle into your space and feel your body relax. Take a deep breath in, hold and release out. Take another breath in, hold, 
and release. And take one more breath in, hold and release. We're now going to take the biggest breath of your day. Feel your lungs, hold it and release. Let's go in three, two, one. Breathe in. Hold and release. You may now return to normal breathing. This is a body scan meditation. We're going to start with different parts of the body and tune in to where they are in space. Let's start first with our feet. Feel your feet in space. How are they sitting? Can you feel any rushes of energy or are they just silently still? Focus in on your toes, the balls of your feet and the heels. Move now to your ankles. Feel your ankles in space. How do they feel? Move up to the back of your calf, your knees, your thighs. Focus on the strength of these legs that carry you every day and feel how they sit in the space you're in. Move to your hips now. Feel your hips connected into the sockets of your legs. Breathe in. Move towards your womb space, a sacred center of birth of life cycle. How does it feel? Is it tight? Is it loose? Does it feel warm? Fuzzy? Perhaps it feels hollow. Just notice and release the need to judge. Moving now up towards your stomach. See if you can let your stomach go. Well, too typically we hold it in tightly and we don't give it the space it needs to breathe. Let it out now. Does it feel good? Does it feel spongy, warm, firm, watery? It doesn't matter. Just acknowledge it in the space. See how it feels at the back of your spine in this same area. Does it feel warm and tingly? Can you connect with it? Feel your body in this space as you move to your solar plexus. This is often a center of emotion and tightness, sometimes anger. See if you can focus in and feel the energy that arises here. Move up now to your breasts, your upper chest, your heart, your life-giving centers. Feel how they sit on your body. Do your breasts feel familiar? Perhaps they feel foreign to you. Whatever is coming up is fine. Just notice. Connect now with your shoulders. Do you need to drop them down? Have they risen up high around your ears? Let them go. Feel them relax into space and see what it feels like to just be fully relaxed from shoulders down to your toes. Feel your throat. Is it restricted? Is it tight? Does it need a breath to just let it flow? Feel your neck on your shoulders, holding 
your mind on top, moving towards your head. Feel how it sits in the space. Can you feel energy surrounding it? How does it feel to have a complete being sitting in the space, so perfectly formed, so flawlessly flawless, and yet equally marked by life? Just acknowledge your space, your body in this space, and how all the energy centers are responding today. When you feel ready, you might like to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and come back into your body. You can gently open your eyes and return to the room. Okay, how'd you go with that one? Easy, hard, boring, difficult, all of the things are totally okay and valid and it's just one step on the journey. So you might like to do the meditation first or you might like to get outside and move first. It's completely up to you what order, but it might be nice to get zen and then move your body. So today is free flow Monday or day eight, whatever is coming first for you. And I just want you to put on some music and I want you to dance around. So I want you to shake out everything that's going on, dance around the house or put uh, headphones on and get outside with the pram or the toddler and just dance it out. You can run and move and dance. You can do however you want. I just think today, introduce some music in and get, get it going on as we start to reconnect with you and your joy. Then the journal prompt today is a meditation one. So basically, I want you to see if you can write down any blocks you have around meditation and why. Equally, if meditation is something that you really enjoy and you already have a great practice, I'd love to, you to write down what the benefits are that you've received since going into this practice. Any questions you have, any concerns, any blocks, I want you to just get them all down on paper. Um, around the topic of meditation because we're going to be working with it during this week. As always, you can definitely reach out, ask me questions, um, tag MGS Move Mama on your socials and let us know that you're doing this for yourself today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll be right back here tomorrow for day nine and I wish you so much peace and love.